that, man. Man, I'm not like you. I got people depending on me, expecting me to be Mr. Perfect. I just can't throw on my rainbow colored t-shirt and run down to the nearest gay bar. Now my mother shines off all those plaques and trophies every day, waiting for the day I bring home the big one. And Uncle Milton? He goes to work every day bragging to his friends about how many points I scored in the game and how college scouts are banging down my door. Man, everyone is expecting me to make it. And they put all their dreams on me. And I'm not going to let them down, not after all the time and money they invested in me. No one asked you to tell the whole world, Chris. Only the people who care about you. I mean, what's your plan? To lie to them forever? If telling the truth means giving up all their smiles and pats on the back? Yes. It doesn't. Because unlike you, I'm honest about who I am. I don't have to cruise for men in bookstores and truck stops, break up marriages and destroy families. No, Chris, I can be just as selective as any other person because unlike you, I'm not ashamed of who I am. And I'm not ashamed of the things I can't control. You know, everyone's always calling me a faggot. I'm not a faggot. A faggot is a weak ass man who can't stand up for himself. A man that's so freaking scared of rejection that he doesn't care who he hurts. Even if it's the ones he loves. I might be a sissy. I might even be a punk. But you, you are a faggot. And that, my friend, is worse than getting fucked in the ass any day. J.O., you messed up. You messed up. And until you realize that, you don't need to see each other anymore. Jay, man, wait. wait. What? What, Chris? What? <laughs> I'm gay. I'm attracted to men. So what you saying, man? I'm not no man. I'm saying, you used to be my man. And now, you just the other woman. Yeah.